most Americans like to think their military is a tool for preserving the freedom and well-being of people throughout the world. Welcome the Watchzilla, today we are going to show you the top 5 American war crimes. Generations of American soldiers have indeed performed noble and heroic feats in defense of these values. However, since the earliest days of the nation, encounters with the U.S. military have often meant death and destruction, as opposed to freedom and justice. From the American Revolution to the War on Terror, soldiers from every generation have taken part in atrocities of one form or another. If there is any hope for preventing American war crimes in the future, the past transgressions of the U.S. military must be acknowledged and, when possible, the perpetrators brought to justice. Number 5. Azizabad Airstrike Afghanistan. On August 22, 2008, Afghan civilians who had gathered in a small village for the memorial ceremony of a militia leader were killed by airstrike by U.S. and Afghan soldiers who were on an operation in the area to pursue Taliban commander Mullah Siddiq. The airstrike's estimated casualties varied widely between 30 and 90, according to conflicting accounts from American troops, air workers, local villagers, and a report made by the Afghanistan government. The Pentagon described the attack as a legitimate strike against the Taliban and questioned the casualty estimates given by the government of Afghanistan and reported by the media. The U.S. military originally denied that any civilian casualties had occurred, but later acknowledged after the release of a cell phone video that some civilians may have been killed and announced it would investigate the incident. In 2009, Muhammad Nader, a villager from Azizabad, was sentenced to death for giving incorrect information to soldiers about Siddiq's location. Number 4. Abu Ghraib, Iraq. Much like Afghanistan, America's occupation of Iraq was witness to many atrocities by American forces. The most famous, if not deadly, of these crimes was the treatment of prisoners at Abu Ghraib. From October to December of 2003, U.S. soldier with little experience running a prison carried out shockingly sadistic acts on those they were meant to be guarding. Many detainees were humiliated, tortured, raped, sodomized, and some even killed at the hands of guards. One military report, not meant for public release, outlined some of the forms of torture practiced by the troops, breaking chemical lights and pouring the phosphoric liquid on detainees, beating detainees with a broom handle and a chair, sodomizing a detainee with a chemical light and perhaps a broomstick. Detainees were forced to perform sexual acts on each other and were strung up in embarrassing and painful positions for hours or days. There are also numerous allegations of detainees being beaten to death by U.S. soldiers and private contractors. Although there was similar activity occurring other Iraqi and Afghani prisons, the abuses at Abu Ghraib exploded into scandal, largely because of photographic evidence of the torture. These pictures of abuse were widely published, and publications like The New Yorker and 60 Minutes did detailed exposes. As a result of the scandal, 11 soldiers were sentenced to prison terms, but many of the soldiers and private contractors allegedly involved in the abuses have never faced trial. Number 3. Philippine-American War. During the Spanish-American War in 1898, American forces captured the Philippines. Although the Americans viewed themselves as liberators, Filipinos had been struggling against Spanish imperialism for years. They did not take kindly to one imperial power being replaced with another. What followed was the Philippine-American War, a savage exercise in jungle combat. After suffering heavy casualties from Philippine insurrectionists in the Samer province, General Jacob H. Smith sought revenge against the civilian population. He stated, I want no prisoners. I wish you to kill and burn, the more you kill and burn, the better you will please me. General Smith troops proceeded to carry out a genocidal campaign in the countryside. He ordered anybody over 10 years of age and capable of bearing arms to be executed and herded thousands more into concentration camps. Unfortunately, these actions were only microcosm of the larger brutality of America's occupation of the Philippines. It is estimated that at least 34,000 Filipinos were killed as a direct result of the war and another 200,000 by the cholera epidemic among refugees and those in concentration camps. Number 2. My Lai Massacre. My Lai Massacre is the most notorious war crime in U.S. history and has become the benchmark to which all acts of American military savagery are compared. On March 16, 1968, the men of Charlie Company entered the village of May Lai in South Vietnam to conduct a search and destroy mission. Although there were no signs of enemy troops, the soldiers were ordered to enter the village firing. The incident quickly devolved into violence and chaos as the men of Charlie Company opened fire on the village's unarmed residents. Among them were many women, 
children, and elders. It is estimated that over 300 civilians were shot or bayoneted to death during the course of several hours. Only one soldier, William Calley Jr., was convicted for participation in the massacre. He served three and a half years under house arrest. Perhaps even more chilling than the lack of culpability here is how commonplace this behavior was among American troops. As Colonel Oren Henderson remarked, every unit of brigade size has its my lie hidden someplace. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. No Gun Rim Massacre. In 1950, the United States intervened in the Korean War in defense of the South, but its forces were undertrained and underprepared. The North's attacks created a severe refugee crisis, and as thousands of Koreans clogged the battlefield as they fled war-torn areas, the U.S. forces panicked. On the same day that the U.S. Army delivered a stop refugee order in July 1950, around 400 South Korean civilians were killed in the town of No-Gun Rib by U.S. forces from the 7th Cavalry Regiment. The soldiers argued they thought the refugee could include disguised North Korean soldiers. Many refugees were shot, while on or under a stone bridge that ran through the town, others were attacked with bombs and machine guns fire from U.S. planes. The ordeal lasted for three days, according to local survivors and members of the cavalry. There was a lieutenant screaming like a madman, fire on everything, kill them all, veteran Joe Jackman recalled. I didn't know if they were soldiers or what. Kids, there was kids out there, it didn't matter what it was, 8 to 80, blind, crippled or crazy, they shot them all. The Associated Press broke the news of the massacre in September 1999. It has come to be known as one of the largest single killings of civilians by American forces in the 20th century. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watchzilla and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.